first I know you're with me You promise I will never be alone Even when I walk into the valley You won't let me go Every word you whisper draws me deeper and fill my heart with truth You are faithful and you are my keeper I'm safe here with you Spirit rise Glorify the Father You're a
Travis, thanks for being with us, man. Thanks for having me, Jimmy. Um, man, this song, we were just chatting about this song, Spirit Rise. And I love the lyric in this because of the fact that the whole heart of this song is about Holy Spirit come, but don't come to even empower me, which is not a bad thing, or, or, or lift me up, but it's like Spirit glorify the Son. And I right. love that, that idea and that lyric. Talk about this song because I know there was actually a lot of writers involved with this song, some great writers. There, there were, and, but to your point about the lyric, I love that there are so few songs I mean, you can count them on one hand where the chorus doesn't say anything about what the Lord does for us. And that's a good thing. You know, I, I love it when t- testimony is part of our worship, but um, I love that this, this whole chorus is just uh, exactly like you said, centered around us. The Holy Spirit come and glorify Jesus, glorify Jesus in our lives, glorify Jesus around us. Um, um, glorify the Father, you know, and so I, I love that about the lyric. Um, yeah, there were a lot of writers on this song. I, uh, Jesse Reeves was a guy that I had met on another co-write, and of course, I was a fan of his. Jesse's had just a couple. He's a cut, couple songs. had a cut or two. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. And as we were leaving that day, he was, he was, he said something about, I have another song or two I'd like for you to look at and maybe, uh, See if you want to do something with the uh, Spirit Rise was the first one he sent me, and the first listen just drew me in. I don't know what it, and there's something about it. There's something just so simple, and um, it to me it has a welcoming spirit thing about it. Like I, you know, as a worship leader, and I think about giving people moments with with the Lord. I feel like this song has like this song has like this open spirit about it. Like it doesn't matter. We you could open a worship set with it. You could close it. You could put it anywhere, and it's it's a it's an idea, a sentiment, a thought, and really a theological truth that fits anywhere in worship. Mm-hmm. So he sent it to me, and I was like, "Yeah, let me at this song, please. Let me <laughs> at the song. I love it so much." Yeah. Well, and. The great thing about this song, I think, lyrically, and, and the truth that's behind it is, is when the Spirit glorifies God and shines a light on, on Jesus, it impacts us. So there's a personal aspect of this song, too, even in the bridge where you, where you sing, you know, with the Spirit of the Lord, is there's freedom you know, right. from the Scripture, is that when you shine that light upon Jesus, you're lifting him up, things begin to fall off, chains break. And, and there's, you know, there's an end result of people are, are freed and encouraged and lifted up. But the focus, again, is, is on glorifying God and not on asking it for myself, which I, I just love that. I love that. But, you know, that's also in the nature and the character of God. You know, the, uh, we've talked about this recently, that the one thing that's made for God and nothing else and no one else is, is worship, to mm-hmm. be worshiped. But even in that one thing, you know, when the Holy Spirit comes and and, and in those times of worship, we do the one thing that's made for him. He turns right around and he uses it to empower his people. And that's kind of where we went on the bridge of this song, because I like to think about, okay, now that Jesus is glorified, let's go for it. Let's go for the fire. Let's go for the grace. Let's go for the extending the grace. Let's go for deeper places of surrender. And that's kind of where we went on the bridge. Like once you ask the spirit to come and glorify Jesus, there's nothing he can't do in his people. Wow, that's amazing. Man, show us what you're playing. What key are you in? Well, today I'm in the key of C. <laughs> we, we, I recorded this on the record in the key of D. It seemed like a natural, like, acoustic, you know, key for that song. I, I put it in C just for a little more intimate setting. And, uh, you know, the, the verse is very simple. It just starts with the, the one chord and down to the six minor, down to the five back to the one for for the whole verse and then the the chorus um is, is simple as well i'm not saying that a lot uh, it starts on the four spirit rise glorify the father back down to the one you're alive back to the four we know that you are here lifting high back to the four i do a little walk up um 
do some inversion things, but it's still the, the basic essence of that chord is the four chord, and then back to the one. And then in our lives, spirit rise, back to the one. Now the bridge, we did some tweaking. We, I remember going back and forth with Jesse about what the, where the best home is for the bridge. And uh, we start the bridge on the six minor. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And then back up to the one. The spirit of the Lord is, there's no fear. Then to the five. Where the spirit of the Lord is, um, there is healing and the spirit is here. Back to the one. And it's that twice for the bridge. Yeah. Man, I really love this song. I think it's really important and uh, a great song for the church, man. Thanks for sharing it with us. Yeah.